Hey guys, in this video we're going to quickly talk about what a fraction actually is. Sadly, in our everyday life, all measurements and all numbers sadly don't involve only whole numbers. So what we have is parts. So we have to use parts of whole numbers or what we usually call fractions. So say for example, if we had a cake or anything else and we colored in just this quarter of the cake, just this, just one slice of the cake, and we have one, two, three, and four. We have four parts or four slices of that cake, and we take one of them, this red colored one. What we have is one over four. This basically is just saying that we've got one out of four. This is called a fraction. This line indicates division and this right here is called the numerator. The top number above the fraction line is called the numerator and the number below that fraction line right here is called the denominator. Okay, say if we for example had a more square kind of shape or whatever, think of it as anything and what we're going to do is we're going to cut it up into one, two, three, four, five equal parts. And say if we take three of those parts, one, two, three, what we're left with is two parts out of five, which is what we started with. So let's look, let's take a closer look. We have one, two, three, four, and five. So we have this broken down into five pieces. The highlighted part in red is one, two, and three, so three parts. So what we write is three over five, which is the same as three out of five, or three divided by five. And this is again our fraction. Again, we have the numerator, I write num for short and the denominator and I write den for short. Okay, remember the top part of a fraction is called the numerator and the bottom part is called the denominator. Let's look at one last example. Say if we had 10 equal parts and we took away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, the way we would write that is 7 over 10, or 7 out of 10. Remember, the top is called the numerator, while the bottom number is called the denominator. Okay, and that's our solution. This right here is our fraction, as it was here, and as it was here. So it really doesn't matter what you have the fraction out of. Basically, it's indicating one part out of four, as highlighted here. One part out of four parts. And then again, we had one, two, three parts out of five. And lastly, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven parts out of a total of ten parts. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any other questions or something didn't make sense, Make sure to leave a comment and make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching.